Hi everybody, this is Blenda. It's April the 9th, 2012. <clears throat> this video is a specific video for my good friend Alicia. Um, girl, I totally understand. Um, I know that your confidence is low, uh, you're feeling weak in your self, that you can continue on and do more. Um, and I agree with your comment I'm looking at right now that you have to keep pushing yourself. Um, everyone has to keep pushing yourself because you have to see what your limits are so that you can push past them. I think you are super uber intelligent young lady that can do anything if she puts her mind to it. You can get through these bad days. You know, just think about not where you're headed to, but where you've been and where you're at right now. Where you're at right now is like almost, what, 30 pounds down in like, what, less than two months? And no surgery didn't help you do that. You did that all on your own. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with surgery. Surgery is fantastic. Um, but you chose to go another route and you're doing really good. Um, you have got a lot to be proud of. You know, I love you and I support you and I think you're doing fantastic. But I think there comes a time in every person's life when they have to struggle with something like this where they have to decide whether it's right for them to continue on and keep going if they just feel like they can't do it. And you know you can do this. You know you can. You got it right here. You've already made the first step. You've already took the, the, the journey started when you said, I want to change my life. And that's what you're doing. You're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. You are going to have infinitesimal, horrid days. You know, but you will get through them, you know. The outcome and what you gain from the few bumps in the road you have now is going to way surpass the, the having no confidence, not thinking you can do it, that oh, I'm just so tired of doing it, I don't want to do it anymore, why is this my burden to deal with, kind of thing. I know because I've been there and done that. This past week, um, I had dental surgery and had five teeth extracted and I was in pain and I was out of it, and I couldn't take my pills that my doc, my surgeon pres uh, prescribed to me because they interfered with my sleep study, and they would interfere with the medication that my dentist gave me. So for a week, I had spaghetti, cheeseburgers, french fries, uh, chopped steak, um, uh, mushrooms. I had uh, chocolate, a couple of chocolate eat Easter bunnies. And my favorite, especially all year round, but especially during Easter, those little yellow uh, packets with the Reese's peanut butter chocolate eggs. I had, and I'm going to admit, I had about 10 of those in a three day period or more. And it's, it was just horrible. And I felt like exactly probably like what you've been feeling for the past two or three days that I just, I. I messed up bad. <laughs> Why bother continuing? Because I mean, I. Gained back 10 pounds in about a week, which, you know, is uh, not good. <laughs> but I thought about it, posted a video about it, confessed, and reached out to my YouTube uh, community that I know backs me and loves me and cares a whole lot about what happens to me. And I got a lot of feedback, and it was all positive, and I'm not that same person anymore. The old Belinda would have said to hell with it. I'm not doing this. I can't do it. Just like you, you're not the same Alicia no more. Once you took that first step, that first first step towards your future, you left the past behind, and that's where you need to keep it. Keep it in the past. Keep moving forward. Go go to your run to your future, because it's waiting for you there. We are both both of us are still very young women, and might I add, sexy, and we know it. <laughs> So you can do this. You can do it. Just give yourself a pat on the back for what you've already accomplished. 
and like you said, push on through all the BS and just do it. You can do this. We all can do this. If we support each other and love one another, it can be done. And I do love you to death. I love watching your videos and your raw emotions and experiences in your journey so far are very touching and I love to watch them. And I wanted to make this video just for you so that you know at least that there are other people out there who feel exactly like that. Hold on just a minute, I'm sorry.